right, Gemini, this is Sha from Charlie's Angel Tarot, and this is your reading for the 16th to the 22nd of March, and I'm using the Wild, uh, the Wildwood Tarot um, and the House of Shadows from Monica Bolinsky, and you can see the review uh, on on this deck, it's quirky. It is a deck. She calls it an oracle deck, but it is the Linamon, and it's so simple, but you get so much information. And if you love the Adams family, you'll love this deck. Okay, um, I'm doing the charms again and the crystal ball. So, um, uh, whilst uh, I know you, you most probably hear this noise, so. Uh, please subscribe and hit the uh, the bell um, then you'll be notified when I go live I go live twice a week in English and once in Dutch so if you know Dutch then you can join me on Wednesday night and for English it's Monday and Friday I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope you have enjoyed your romance reading as well they are up and running I do have also some news and you can watch the update and news in the back of the screen end screen I will be putting uh, several videos out there uh, just to let you know what's happening but I'm also doing a series with a real life witch okay some call them pagan so go and have a look on that that's been a great success so we'll be continuing doing a series on that uh, thank you very much for coming back my cyber angel and um, thank you for your support you make this channel woohoo it's running and that's why I have to split the evenings in Dutch and English because it's getting really big 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 the family yes together we stand strong and I might do just an extra evening bilingual evening that would be an option okay I'm getting also busy because I'm also collaborating with other readers and I'm also doing reviews and I hope to have an interview with a beautiful author Monica Bos uh, Bodersky within the near future awesome it's getting really exciting I love it I love it I love it the energy is so positive oh Jims I love it thank you for supporting me and thank you to the new viewers I love all my cyber angels so subscribe it's just down there and if you uh, would like to go and visit the website you can click on this white button and it will take you through to the website okay here we go um, the beads are the colors of the angelic chakra and I'm going to put down the this is bugging me because the anchor has come out for nearly every sign okay we've got the anchor and that means yes coming home to a safe haven this is where you're staying okay this also reminds me of the hope uh, faith and love charm the heart and that will be written in this just one thing it's the circle the ring okay marriage or partnerships and then you've got the ank luck the cross the Egyptian cross and if you want to know more about the ank then have a look at the witches video a witch with Wendy in a collaboration with Wendy the witch the Dutch witch and then you've got the anchor you're staying where you are because you feel safe then we've got the feminine sign so perhaps you might be meeting a new lady okay we've got the uh, alarm clock but it was upside down so are you asleep it's a wake-up call perhaps well, let's see and um, we've got the money we've got the dollar sign whoa so you might be getting foreign money or could be representing your money of your country and this is the back of the clock right it's got three dots so three might be significant and you've got the alarm clock and the alarm is set for seven o'clock so perhaps seven 
7 o'clock at night or 7 o'clock in the morning might be significant and you've got the feminine sign and you've got the anchor there you go and you can see the circle on the top of the anchor where the rope goes through and you've got the angel feather you might be seeing a lot of feathers but know that the angels are with you now I've got to get a bead and I'm not looking you'll have to trust me um, and you've got the red red bead so that means uh, grounding the red is the ground chakra so you have to earth yourself or you are earth let's see what the crystal is saying for you and I've got the crystal given to me by my sister and I'm taking a, a cotton um, handkerchief this the Dutch farmers handkerchief the Dutch farmers used to wear red handkerchiefs or carry one and I've still got it it's years old believe it or not so that's clean it's now um, neutral energy away from Taurus I do clean it after every reading Wow and it is working at night even if you see the lights from the ceiling okay you look you've got so many infusions and the, it is really round but I'm seeing an an indentation of heart an indentation of an heart okay now um, what I'm also seeing is different countries like an island uh, two three and two small islands perhaps this resonates with you I'm not seeing the point of Africa or India which I did with a Capricorn I think it was so let's have a look so islands perhaps islands might be significant also something might not be very clear to you I also see like a lake perhaps a lake is significant for you okay perhaps you you know somebody that likes fishing Ooh, I like fishing I do and I see it's like this two circles going like this perhaps I'm getting the word planet switching twitching turning those are the words I'm I'm getting okay there are there's something big but there's small things all around it it's crazy I'm still coming back to the island something swirling perhaps you're too much in your mind Gemini that's nothing unusual perhaps the island means the mother and children so there might be more children coming your way or you might be taking care of children or you could be the head of a project that's also what's coming in and you're delegating you're delegating <laughs> it still amazes me how I can read the crystal ball um, it's like something big I'm seeing it's like it goes like that it's not only the heart but from something big or from something small reversed because th it's small here and it disperses and it's still joined together from something small something big can come okay something is growing you you've sown seeds I'm seeing somebody sowing seeds and I think it's you and it's going to come to fruition you are earthed 
you've done the work you've got the information it is time it's time that an investment most probably is coming into fruition okay so I hope that resonates with you if it doesn't I also see a rainbow so heaven and earth is connected for you somebody ancestors or something somebody from the uh, that's left this plane and has gone across angels um, is sending you love so let's have a look Gemini what is being said for you what is in the cards for you this is the white wild wood tarot and I'm first check giving them a good shake this way okay Gemini now I've, you saw me shaking the cards and I had to stop last night because I got too tired <laughs> this is your reading and it is the 15th my birthday the number of my birthday okay let's do the linen one right they're not coming out perhaps they want these to come first the Sun nice card okay this card the king of vessels that's the king of cups the eel okay and then we've got the three of vessels the three of cups then we've got the four of stones the four of pentacles and underneath the deck we have the six the six of arrows what does it say transition let's see if the lenamon will come out now much easier that's the one that's sticking out the scythe the scythe okay this one is sticking out the bear the bear the letter we got the key okay and underneath we've got the clouds okay now remember that the charms are the anchor that's hope faith and love that's and uh, that's what I see in the anchor as well steadfastness coming home to a safe haven and the answer is yes then we've got the masculine sign and you can uh, sorry the feminine sign the feminine sign and then we've got the clock then we've got the quarter or the ten cents and the feather and the red bead which is grounding in the angelic chakras system and that's Ariel okay I sound as if I've got a bit of a cold today sorry if I sniff okay here we go we have the Sun now the Sun means you're in the spotlight literally and figuratively and somebody might have an eye on you this could be a Leo okay something is being illuminated you might hear of a birth you can't see it from there this is also you might be hearing of a birth this could be of a new project a new child if you're too mature to have children then this could be that you are becoming a grandmother or an aunt 
you might be in, um, you might be going on holiday or moving home. New beginnings. Okay, and you can see the spotlight. That's the hearts, but it's close to the solar plex, and the solar plex is joy, love. Let joy come in. It's also number 19, so 9 and 1 is 10, an ending, there's an ending coming. Where there is an ending, there's also a beginning, because it also becomes number 10, and you've got number 10 here, so you've got two 10s, so that is significant. And 10 becomes a 1, so I hope you can see that. You can't, because the sun, the sun is literally here. Hold on, darlings. I put the sun blind down. So you can see here that this is number 10 and it's becoming, comes to an end and something new is beginning. Well, that's obvious because the scythe in the Lenaman means you're cutting with the past. You're moving on and you're harvesting. You always have, you always harvest wisdom and life experience but perhaps you might be harvesting more than that because in the crystal ball we saw that you have sown seeds okay that's the beginning of the week Gemini okay that's the 16th then we have the Knight of Vessels. So there is a Knight of Cups coming your way. Now with this deck, I get a feeling, watch out for the slithery, sly people. And if you can see, he's, his eye, he's watching, no you can't, but he's looking that way, sideways, 45 degrees. So he's keeping, he's not focused on what is in front of him, he's in, focused on what is around him. So, this news, be careful with this news, this is what I'm getting with this card, with this deck. So, it might be news of a warning, uh, it might be news of a job offer, like in the traditional, or love. Now, if it is a job offer, that's why I'm saying watch out, because the eel is the water snake, okay? and watch out for the small print so you're forewarned so you could be getting an offer of work or love now you might have been sleeping because we've got a sleeping bear here hibernation okay um, this deck is quite explicit okay the vessels the vessels uh, uh, are also the, in the indication of time. This deck actually gives an indication of time. Right, well, um, this is August, like I said, Leo. This is the summer, and the cups means autumn. So perhaps you've sown seeds, and autumn is the end of uh, growing, right? It's getting ready for the winter. So what I see is if you've sown seeds you could be harvesting around August time um, till the end of October because that is in a bang in the middle of uh, the autumn and usually the last time that can be harvested is end of September beginning October but here we have the bear and the bear looks like it has been sleeping and it's dormant so spring comes between uh, b before um, summer so it could be th he's got, he's waking up because he has to wake up because he's the bear and he's in the in the lay in the spread okay the bear might be sleeping but if somebody disturbs him he will wake up and he'll stand his ground and he'll protect what he is um, cares about, that he loves, that he's passionate about. There could be people jealous uh, around you and we've got the scythe here and it looks scary, I know, the scythe always looks scary. So there might be somebody that you're cutting away from that is jealous. Okay? Could be a Leo but you could be cutting away. And why I'm saying time here, I've got a feeling it might be between now 
and the end of October, September that you uh, will bear fruit of what you've sown because you're harvesting here and it's got 10 so it could be the 10th month and October is the 10th month I just realized that now okay and today is the 15th so it's quite prominent that all these numbers are coming in quite amazing I think um, and luck is on your side so don't worry about jealous people make sure that you cut away from jealous people you will harvest something you will harvest new friends because people that are worthwhile will stay with you and you protect them okay Ooh, and luck is on your side you might even get help from institutions it's not in this deck it is in, in a couple of other decks that you see the castle or the tower behind the bear so I keep all the messages from all the other decks in my head and besides that um, this is also a warning don't walk around with um, blinkers on don't keep your eyes closed don't be sleepy be focused on what you want because your beautiful times are coming okay don't let, be careful of slithery people. Stay away from negative people. Also that jealous person. Oops, that is amazing. One and five becomes six. So that's the beginning of summer, uh, June. So June, August, uh, till the end of October, I'm getting to hear the next, the s later uh, half of the year, the latter half of the year will be very important for you. You will be celebrating. You will be celebrating. It could be uh, because you've got the three of vessels, the three of cups. Be creative. There is joy coming to you, definitely. It says joy here, and it uh, the sun is joy. You will be getting news again, 27, the end, 9. So there is an ending. You've got two numbers the same here. Again, you've got a four here. So, like I said, you might be going on holiday. Take time out. The four of pentacles. Four means also stability. Look at that heavy stone on top of other stones. You can't see number four, but I'll tell you there is a number four. Otherwise, you would, the little Bambi wouldn't be able to sit on there. It's like a table. As solid as a house. So, four of stones. Take time out to meditate, to... Um, contemplate and the little Bambi is contemplating as well what am I going to do where's my mother I've got to wait for my mother so uh, like I said in the crystal ball you might be delegating perhaps this might be a lost child that's coming towards you let your inner child come out how can you bring your inner child out because there is joy you will be recognized because you are in the spotlight <coughs> excuse me okay and you've got 33 again a double number a six so you've got two sixes in this deck two numbers coming up a six you've got the key you've got the key in your own hands okay now um, you can open doors to positivity to love to joy excitement okay and you can also close the door to negativity okay beautiful now at the end, uh, bottom of the deck you have the six of arrows that's the six of swords you are moving away from rough waters going to smoother waters you might be crossing waters this could be also a holiday transition yes you are transcending from a past a, an old phase of life into a new phase you've been dormant you've been sleeping you've taken your time out to rest but it's time to wake up now because it's spring you've got um, you've got uh, let's have a look you've got the six of uh, uh, air so the swords arrows so you are moving on there might have been arguments 
or disagreements again you've got a six wow that's three sixes six 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 amazing but they're short-lived because the clouds means that uh, after rain comes sunshine look at that and you've got the little umbrella somebody standing there with an umbrella so protect yourself don't give anybody any ammunition to use against you close the door on negativity walk away from it and I, uh, this could also be official news like I said institutions might give you a helping hand wow there's good news on its way so you've got 3 3 here which is a 6 then you've got 6 6 6 and they're lying very close together so you can take that uh, 3 th number figure uh, as a luck from the angels that is the feather you are grounded like the bear standing your ground wow you're standing in the spotlight that is your anchor and the answer is yes you are coming home to a safe haven or you are in a safe haven you feel safe where you are if you are in judicial situations and you've had to wait for a long time the news will come okay you are moving away from negativity boom again negativity walk away from it cut away from the past new beginning you are harvesting justice will be done you are in the spotlight and there might be uh, somebody that is a Leo that has an eye on you or that is assisting you that is helping you okay awesome that could be a woman there is a woman coming into your life or this could be you so you yes it's beautiful look this could be definitely you you are grounded you have Archangel Uriel because red is the rooting chakra in the angelic um, chakra system there might be money coming to you uh, news about money okay you've got the alarm clock I'll show you the little dollar or oh, ten cents I can't remember I don't know what it is but it is American the United States of whatever I can't see whether it's 10 cents or not perhaps you might recognize it but it's got the dollar head of the first president excuse me that I don't know his name so there might be money coming in you harvesting okay harvesting and then you've got the alarm clock is number seven anything for you and the alarm clock means and here again you've got three dots on the back again number three okay number seven alarm call wake up call yes wake up yes 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 don't walk around with blinkers don't be sleepy don't let things pass you by be alert be alert alarm alarm that's what I'm hearing repeatedly number seven perhaps July uh, the seventh month again there is no seven we've only got sixes here sixes here again six 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 is prominent perhaps the end of June going into the seventh month okay we've got three and four here so that makes seven Ooh, wow so my if you're a lady then this is definitely something for you love could be coming in in the sixth or the seventh month because the ring on top of the anchor re represents for me the wedding ring then you've got the ank if you think away this you've got the ank and we talked about the ank last week in the witches series to um, collaborating with the Dutch witch um, so you have the cross have faith have trust okay you are where you are at now you where you want to be you have moved on some of you you are grounded you are in a safe place 
the angels are with you amazing now I did say the rainbow I did say lake uh, lake yes here you are uh, the lake you are crossing water this could be a lake so that has come in as well that was in the um, crystal ball as well wow and here you see water as well so water can be prominent water is also emotions okay so listen to your intuition okay heed the warnings of your intuition or new ideas it could deliver money you perhaps your hobby might become work okay something is prominent here you need more information but there will be celebrations okay Gemini I hope you have enjoyed this reading please share the, with this video with family and friends I do appreciate it and give us the thumbs up so that we stay connected because with the we stay connected with the uh, with our I don't know I forgot the word now so that we stay connected to the uh, alpha rhythm or the search robot knows that you follow me and we are cyber friends okay my cyber angels take care be blessed and I'll see you in the life if not in the next video have a look at your romance video if you haven't yet and see whether it resonates with this reading okay good luck and thank you very much for coming new people and I hope uh, new viewers and I do appreciate if you would join our cyber family as well and remember the English nights are Monday and Friday and if you can speak Dutch you're welcome to join on Wednesday take care be blessed and have a beautiful weekend